The Diocese of Jalingo Anglican Communion has held a Trinity of the Nation service where three deacons were made and three were priested. It was a pivotal time in the life of the newly ordained ministers as they were urged to be steadfast, humble, and hold on to the Word of God in order to finish strong. ACNN TV's Unzubeche Frank was there and has the report. The Trinity Diocinet Ordination Service for the Diocese of Jalingo Anglican Communion took place at the Cathedral Church of Christ, Mayodasa, Jalingo, Taraba State, Nigeria. Elysis Joseph received the Holy Spirit for the office and work of a priest in the Church of God now committed to you by the imposition of our hands. Earlier in the service during the sermon, the returned, who happens to be a guest preacher from Nikkei Diocese, spoke on the topic finishing strong. He urged the newly ordained to make sure to finish this race which they have started strongly. He said that in finishing strong, the revelation of the Word of God must be relevant in their lives, urging them to be confident, saying quitting is not an option. Brethren, for us to finish strong, the revelation of the word of God will be paramount in our lives. Be confident that he who started this work in you will be faithful to accomplish it. Brethren, you can see today that quitting is not an option. If you quit in the days of battle, it means your strength is small. In his admonition to the newly ordained ministers, the bishop, the right reverend Nedison Foreman, advised them to be steadfast, to be prayerful, and be committed to their service. While some of the newly ordained had this to say. We want to thank God for the success of this year's ordination. And I want to encourage those that were ordained, like the word Peter said, or the Bible said in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 6, verse 4, they said we will not commit ourselves to table, but we will give ourselves to the ministry of prayer and of the word. So I call on them to be committed to the word of God, and to have quality time to always pray. If they maintain these two scriptural principles, it will help them to excel in their ministry. And I also encourage them to be humble. Just as it has been made clear to me that I am meant to assist my priests in the church that has been given to me to carry on the primary responsibility which God had given to us, which is to spread the gospel to the world and to unveil the truth to the nation. Honestly, today I feel very happy uh, within me, though it's a very huge responsibility. But I really thank God for finding me worthy out of the millions of people God has chosen me to be one of his own servants. Honestly, it's a privilege to me and I'm delighted. We give God all the glory. I feel uh, excited. I feel uh, glorious, I feel happy, and I feel accomplished. It's a dream and a vision come true. So I give God all the glory. As a priest, uh, what is expected of me is to, it's a higher calling. And it means that I should do more, I should uh, serve the Lord, and uh, be more faithful to God and to bring up people to know God. The service, aside from being an ordination service, was also to appreciate God for the successful completion of Pinyal 2022 as members dance to the altar in appreciation oh, to God. Like we are ascending to the rest. Aha! Everybody look up. Look up see what the Lord has done. Nzubeti Frank, reporting for ACNN News.